Hey, this is Sasha. Thanks for joining me in today's video. And what I want to share with you today is how I go about automating my YouTube posts and sending those out to Facebook and Twitter automatically. So stay tuned. I'm going to share with you the power of automations behind the scenes and how we go about doing it by just using about one hour of setup time to starting the automation process and building the automation sequence. Here it is. All right, so typically what you would do if you're going to send out YouTube posts to Facebook, uh, you're gonna go ahead and do that to Twitter or any other social media platform. It takes a lot of emphasis on time that you have to go ahead and do that. So meaning when you go ahead, you film your video, you create it, you upload it to YouTube. Then you have to go ahead, maybe you schedule it in your calendar so you see when they're scheduled. Then maybe the next thing you would do is upload it to your WordPress site. After that, you would go ahead and post to social media. And you gotta go to Facebook and Twitter, maybe use a program like Buffer um, or any other social media platform. But it takes time to go ahead and do all these things. So what we've done is we've randomized these things. And I wanna show you some of these postings that I have uh, here scheduled out. So you could see this whole list of postings. This is our data store. I'll just zoom in on it. And you can see we've got some postings here that basically go into this and um, we have you know our title or written text or photo uh, link and when it was kind of created and you can see there's a ton of postings and these are going out throughout the next year and two uh, basically we're trying to recycle and reuse some of the old video content that we have and one of the ways that we do this is kind of through the power of Airtable and Integromat so we used to use Zapier in the past, uh, but Zapier just doesn't have that, that power and oomph. So when we're looking at Integromat, think of it like this. We start out with a basic item here uh, for our blog content. We use Airtable for just about everything because it's database structure. I know there's people who use Asana, Trello, but the thing is, is with those platforms, they don't have a database structure, which you can't add in extra fields. So here I have blog content BSI. So let's go ahead and take a look at this table and um, what that really looks like. So I'm gonna show you here, if we go to the blog content uh, backstage income. So anytime there's a new post in here, in our blog content uh, area, basically anytime it's added in here or updated, uh, these records start looking for, um, for, hey, do I need to go ahead and schedule a social media post? So right here, as you look through these most recent ones, here's all our, our fields, here's the title, here is uh, the date scheduled. Then you have your uh, YouTube URL, website URL, and you keep going. It's just like an Excel sheet for the website, video thumbnail right here. So this will be your video thumbnail that goes there. Pinterest thumbnails, and did we do the YouTube? Did we do the WordPress? So it's, it's all in here. Um, everything is, is lined up there. So once it goes in here, here's, here's what happens. We go into this system right here, and in this system, uh, what's happening is that basically Airtable takes this system and it goes in and, and it looks to see, hey, are there any fields with the website URL, date, date schedule, title, and video thumbnail? So if there are, and they all exist with those records, meaning we're just checking for it, let's go ahead and grab something from the Google Sheets. And what I'm doing here from the Google Sheets is actually I'm getting a few random values which I've created in uh, this Google file. And this Google file, what it does is we're getting some pretext and post text. If you want to take a look at what that looks like, it basically looks like this. So I've got the row number over here. And let me just zoom in on this for you. So I've got the row number, I've got the pretext, uh, one, pretext two, pretext three, pretext four. And all that is, is it just puts something at the beginning of the, um, of the item. It basically puts something uh, at the beginning. And uh, when we do this, it's, it's extrapolating this data uh, to go ahead and add it in a little bit later. Then we also have post text, uh, which is maybe like an icon and an arrow and an arrow for. So you'll see what I mean here in just a second. So really what it does is when we start this process, this automation thing, which allows us to go on routes, unlike maybe Zapier, which is much more visual. What we do is we go ahead, we go through Airtable. We, f we go in, I put some routers here in between just to split up some, some data in the future in case we need to ever split things up without reworking too many things. Um, and then we go f extract a random Google sheet from those records. So we pick a random um, item or value from this whole list. Uh, and you know, there's, there's a bunch of records in here. So it's just, hey, awesome, did you see it? Uh, awesome with a different icon. So it's about 185 different fields. 
And here it is. We basically extract it right here, custom range, A to Z, count random between one and 184. So that's our code there. So once it picks that, as long as the date is in the future where this blog is scheduled for, well, then what we do is we go ahead and input this record into our data store. And the reason we do this in a data store is because Buffer or other social media platforms only let you schedule maybe 100 posts, it might be 50 posts in advance. We're looking to store maybe 1,000 to 2,000 posts. And here's what it does. It basically adds this into our data store where, hey, this is the social media table. This is where it's going. We're going to data store number two website. Uh, we add time, so we add the date scheduled. We add a few days, a random amount of days between uh, this one is 190 and 390 days and between five minutes and negative 990 minutes. So it puts kind of a random value. And then the written text that we have is, is those random items. So it's like pretext uh, from C, we have the title, then we have the post text, then we have the arrow, and that's how it works. And then we also have the link. So uh, then we have another record over here. So we have it at different points where uh, in the Airtable system, that we, we go ahead and just, some of them, we just add a few minutes, um, you know, and we go ahead and do that. Others of them, uh, we go ahead and um, um, do it longer duration. So every single one's a little bit different, and then it goes into this data store right here, and then what we do is periodically, as we look, we go into our dashboard here on Integromat, and in this dashboard, uh, what happens is, is we go in from uh, the field and it checks, hey, from this data store, we're going to go and look in this store and we find, okay, days out, as long as the days out in this data store, which it tells you right here how many days out until it has to be posted, which gets updated automatically because it's a formula, eight days, eight days, eight days. So you'll see that every eight days it checks kind of as long as it's less than 14 if there's posts there go ahead and push them into uh, the website so here it would go backstage income it would go to buffer and then it would delete that record from there so that's the way that it works is that it goes in and then checks this periodically and you can set this sequence up to look and that's how we go ahead and um, you know really integrate it and that's how you keep your buffer schedule full that's the way we do it because that way what's happening is we automatically take uh, our post and we randomly generate it from our content table then we randomly assign some dates to it and then what we do is we pull it at certain times as long as the dates coming up um, into uh, into buffer and if you need to resort some of these posts, you could go into the calendar and you could move some and, and rearrange some as needed. And we're always just trying to be a little ahead because sometimes the automations may have a little problem here or there. Uh, but other than that, that's the way that the smarter approach to doing it. And you can see as I look at this calendar, obviously this video will be scheduled in advance as well. But as you look through this calendar, you can see there's a ton of uh, postings here that we have um, every single kind of day. It's full. The calendar is full and it's there and we can go ahead and keep adding more in and you can see we have up to March 2021 already which is about a year forward we already have some postings and those will continue to increase as we move forward with time so we're just always looking to fill it up more and more and we're doing basically three to four postings as we get um, three to four postings per year of recycled content so as we go even further ahead we will just let's say one or two years later, we'll go back to the original post and just recycle them one more time. And that's the smarter approach that we like to take for social media postings um, and just go ahead to reuse our content when it comes to our YouTube uh, videos. So that way they're getting out to Facebook, Twitter, and so on. So anyways, I hope you found this video helpful, insightful. Don't forget to download some of the freebies here that I have available. Uh, another awesome video and of course subscribe to the YouTube channel. I'll also leave a uh, link below for Integromat which will be an affiliate link. It'll get me a little commission for our account and credit because we do use the paid service and uh, you can see the power behind it and what it allows you to do. Obviously the setup work to get the automation set up does take a little bit of time, probably about an hour or two to get things going. But beyond that, once it's set up, a lot of these things really save your time and energy uh, posting out on social media. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.